Welcome to Moonside, where no means yes and yes means no, and certain enemies, just like this one, will fling us around. Hello, hello everybody, welcome to and welcome back to another episode of Earthbound Randomizer. The many many statue up ahead is up ahead, but I'm going to stop you right there. Don't even think about getting past me, cause you are the guy with whose eyebrows are connected beautifully, and who also has a shiny gold tooth. I mean, that's as far as you know of. We could have a golden tooth, because it's not like we smiled. Hello, little ghost, how are you doing? But also, we could also just, like, shaved our like, beautiful, luscious eyebrow. <laughs> I also love how the anti scene that he's talking about is literally just, like, invisible. We can't even see the dude. But mind you, the people in Moonside probably aren't able to actually see him, which is something neat to think about. This is also one of the few places in here that actually really suit the randomizer, and congratulations Alec for leveling up. I have a feeling we're going to be leveling up a lot in here. Hello and goodbye! So now it's just trying to talk to a bunch of these, I think teleport men, I believe is what they're called. Okay, we're just gonna get attacked by a termite, which I do know why the enemies got termite. Or no, this was the puppy. There is one that our ants though. Because once we got here, as soon as, actually as soon as we stepped foot into Moonside, we actually got attacked by a couple of NPCs. One of them is an ant. One of them is, of course, a really cute little diamond puppy over there. And there's this guy here who is not an enemy, but is just constantly counting down. I was so happy for him. I'm so happy to be in this place, too. <laughs> Oh, be careful with you walk. It's filthy. A chubby kid. This is business some out here somewhere. Ooh, that's nasty. But how did Porky get up here? Oh well, either way, we get sent to the hospital, I guess. <laughs> Man, I was looking so far to actually doing this, and now that we're actually playing this, I was so happy. I was so sad that this place is actually such a short area, and apparently our health actually drops. But truly, it does not. Oh, hello, little cockroach. At least I'm going to see where cockroach. It kind of looked like a shoe. But I was correct, it was. And I don't remember what this was supposed to be. I was thinking that it was a cup of coffee. But I think that's actually another one. We wouldn't know until we actually find the sprites. Either way, it was easy to take care of, and I would talk to this guy. Ha! Everyone's the same. Don't you think so? Yes, I do think so. <laughs> I love how that guy's just laughing. Hello and goodbye, and we will be teleported Ooh, to this guy. Hello and goodbye. And? Ah, oh, okay. That wasn't the right pattern that we need to go to. So I know that we need to talk to them in a certain pattern. It's just a matter of finding the correct pattern, which I don't believe is going to be this guy. Nope. <laughs> And this really makes me think of the one area in Mario Sunshine. I don't remember what, what the area is called because I've never actually like, played it, so I don't know what all the areas are called. But the ones with the Chuckias, because this is pretty much what it is, except for instead of getting launched off into somewhere deadly, we just get flung around to other teleporting dudes. Man, I love this place so much. I'm glad that we're able to actually be in here now. I'll tell you what I hate most about this world. It's past the color, the smell, the taste, the texture, there. Hey, you guys are drooling. I mean, not really. Does it look like, I mean, maybe you guys are drooling. I don't know, because I can't see you guys. And looks like Rob just leveled up. Congratulations, Rob, on the leveling up. Like I said, I'm pretty sure there's going to be lots of levels up as we get flung around, tossed around over here. <laughs> oh, and we made it over here to this mole over here, which should actually bring us over to one of the gifts. And that is the case. Alec opened the present and got a broken spray can inside. Cool beans. Hello and goodbye, which just sent us back to the mole, which I know for sure. <laughs> oh, and we ended up getting one of the presents, which will give us a Death Ray inside, okay, that would be for Rob, and then this NPC will bring us to another prison. So one of these Starman areas, or actually one of the Starman straight up just brought us over here. Now it's just making sure to talk to the uh, right dude. Good morning, not morning, it's Moonside, it's always in the middle of the night. This is a headline for tonight's Moonlight Press, Moonside Press. Manny Manny is always Manny Manny, at Manny Manny with all Manny Manny Manny. 
That is very many many. <laughs> Hello and goodbye, which should, fingers crossed, well, it doesn't bring us over to hot springs all over. I don't, oh, oh that's the, uh, not the tendons, the little dragon dudes that are in the under, which I'm really curious to know what they're looking like. Moon is inside, side, moon side. Okay, I thought we were able to, like, get out of here by one of these guys. But I guess not. Oh, it's because I was just spamming. I accidentally said no instead of yes. And it was correct. Can you see me? We actually can. But no, I can't see you. Haha, <laughs> you can't. You're definitely not from around here. That actually answered my question. I was gonna say, Moonside people can probably see him. But not us, usually. Hehe. <laughs> Get down. I can use your hat. Now don't hurry. I'm really busy. Don't you have something to talk, else to, talk to? If you need something, talk to my partner. He's over there, see? You mean you can't see him? Nah, we, we totally can't see him. I love it so much. And if we say, if we say yes, I wonder what else he says. Uh, you can, huh? <laughs> You've been a real moon sadian, haven't you? No problem here. I don't remember exactly how we're supposed to get out. And I'd like to imagine that these guys are just like, just like what? You're looking for some kind of door? Well, you're not gonna find one. So get out of my face, loser. Have no patience when people interrupt me while I'm busy doing nothing. I love how we literally just get kicked out <laughs> from that guy. Yeah, it's me. You can't see me, right? There's something interesting about you, so I'm going to follow you. Don't worry, though. <laughs> if you get to flight, I'll stay out of here. If you get into a fight, I will stay out of the way. <laughs> you can't see me, right? Yuck, yuck, hey. What does you wish you... Don't you wish you had a gold tooth like mine? Give me a smile. Fuzzy pickles, everybody. And now I... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, don't you think my apples rock? Keep checking them out. They are connected. Hello and goodbye. Which she should get flying over to this... Oh, we got flying over to her present. Okay. That honestly was a surprise. <laughs> And I just decided to walk over here instead of getting, getting caught in, like, right in like, the loop of things. And now I love how they're literally just going off to get drinks. I love this so much. <laughs> and here's to Manny Manny. Don't do anything to me. I, I'm not Monotoli. I mean, I didn't think you were Monotoli, and now you just poofed off. Okay. Hello, Manny Manny statue. How are you doing? And now, as we're actually finding it, which should actually be a Grim Leviathan, I was actually really curious to know if the Manny Manny statue is literally just making have some kind of like hallucinogenic drug going around, just like the magic cake or magic tart, whichever one is it, one is that's actually in English. Because, well, once you fight this thing, you actually wake up in the middle of I think storage house. I don't quite remember, but now we have uncontrollable crying, which, you know, I was gonna say we should probably use PK Hammer, but apparently we didn't really need that, because we won anyways. But, so it's like, obviously, they're probably hallucinating something, and it's, that's just made me think, is Moonside actually inside the brain? Is it something similar to, like, Magic Cant? And the Manny Magic statue was actually a device that was created an illusion. The illusion device was destroyed, and there's a little mousy over here. The guy next to me was really bugging me. He keeps following me around. <laughs> oh, I love it so much. I love how it just like, indicates that there was actually a person there. And we are getting a phone call. Hello, this is Apple Kid. I have came up with another wacky invention that this time has real potential. Maybe you won't. But anyway, it's called the Gourmet Yogurt Machine. It makes a different flavored yogurt. And it is actually a key item. So, I'm glad that all the key items are actually staying in place. Although that being said, for this randomizer, there actually is an option to have the key items just be everywhere too. Oh, hello! Yee, I am not a delivery man! Yee, I can't remember if we've ever met! Yee, Tala Arama just finished fasting, and now wants to meet you, out the west of Dusty Dune Deserts, in the cave with lots of monkeys. I'll use my teleportation to jump by. Okay, um, uh, goodbye? <laughs> Ooh, splatters in the face. 
I also like how the monkey knew that they were waiting for this dude over here, which is a delivery man, who just ran it to us. Whoops. Whoops. Greetings. It's a Scargo Express neglecting class. Woo. I just got here from Dusty Dew Desert. There's a sub sunbathing guy, and he told me about the cave of lots of monkeys. Or was it orangutans? I don't know. Either way, it was fascinating to learn about. And, well, he said something about, like, delivering, something like that. So here we go, here's the delivered package, just for you, and you guys, not for me. And now we got this person over here, which, actually, is, I'm pretty sure, the vanilla sprite. Hello, I heard you guys talk about trout-flavored yogurt, which I always thought it was throat-flavored yogurt for some reason. I'm a mate who serves Mr. Malantoli. I'm really looking for a like, trout favorite really great yogurt because it is his favorite. So if you were to give it to me, that would be fantastic. And now she just dis disappeared. I don't know if it's because she went towards Malantoli, but still. And there goes the music. But also, as we are going towards here, and you gotta go to the department store and Safe as well. I just think in this game, this is completely random, but since there's only just the two of us here still. Oh, there's actually music in here. I like that. I find it kind of interesting how in the original Mother game, there's actually optional NPCs or party members. So there's really only one. You definitely need Void for story progression, but I believe you could skip. I don't remember what her original name is, but. Paula in that game will just sell it because Paula would be in this game. You could actually just straight up skip her, and I think that's kind of interesting. And now we are in here. It's terrifying. But that's right, we actually need to go and find that one lady. But first, we will actually use the death ray to, <laughs> to get all that, baby. Oh, yeah. I'm actually just gonna go back. Oh, this elevator is for Master Porky I really love how it's literally just a little puppy. It's so cute. <laughs> it's little baby King. Because King was our last dog was named when we were actually playing this unrandomized. Thank you very much for letting us up here. Now I believe we need to talk to one of these. This jab takes forever. Trust me, there's a dark road. Okay, well, I don't know why you're telling me about a dark road. But you know what, it's, it's fine, we'll go with it. There's Porky, who is honestly, is um, I don't remember what these guys are called. Keep on call him Man Man. Oh, hello, Flowey. You haven't changed much, Alex. But my son was very successful, and now he is like a pretty much a leader of this foresight area, something like that. That he's rich. But you know, I don't question his antics or why he's rich or anything like that. We'll just go with it. <laughs> <sighs> and I don't think we could actually go in here. It's a private elevator only for Perky, so that means, yeah, we need to find the one NPC. I don't remember where she is. And okay, the elevator is going down apparently. Okay, thank you very much, Boonside Clock. I appreciate you. Or Dali Clock, which I believe was actually what it's called. But either way, I think I'm actually going to leave it here so that we can actually go through this whole area. And so I can also just go around to try to find the maid. I wonder how many animals go extinct before humans be discovered them. I want to see a live dinosaur sometime. Made easy enough, you just need to go to the under, my dude. And then you're good. But yeah, anyways. I'll just save again and I will find the trout yogurt lady once... Well... We are off here. So, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you liked this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Slap that subscribe button. Sit down in the comments down below. Do what you do, and I will see you in the next episode. Which I'm looking forward to it. I'm so sad that Moonside's over so quickly, though. But it is what it is. And either way, we'll all continue on next. So, peace. <laughs>